Swords up, everybody. My name is Dalton CSP, and welcome back to Blush Blush. Now, um, I've missed uploads for the past few weeks, and that's mostly due to me being an idiot, but also because I've been getting ready for midterms and class recently. Um, so, apologies for that. However, uh, we are back with the Blush Blush. I literally just opened up the game. Uh, as you can see, we got some offline earnings. Uh, remember I said you can let this game run in the background for like a bit of a week? Yeah, you can bank up to seven days worth of offline progress. Uh, I did that. I left it going and I have $6.85 billion now. Uh, I have 85 new skill thingies and I have 10 million um, affection points. So let's get right back into it, shall we? Uh, okay, Nim. You need tools, do you? 85 million Jesus Christ oh I need two extra time blocks uh oh I'm a pit mechanic now um okay let's go on these carnival dates I need one more time block. Uh, okay, let's stop all these for a second. Because I think I was only using those to farm up uh, points for certain guys. Uh, my phone in the corner is also going off, so I need to check that after this uh, date is over. But yeah, it's been a bit. So, um... I was getting ready for midterms and all of that junk, and I was like, okay, I need to start recording again. Um, and I need to start continuing my series. So, um, I got Blush Blush. I plan on doing some covers later today. And um, I'm going to upload like four videos today, just so that way I can make up for lost time, and then we can get back on track. Um, so, yeah, hopefully with... Uh, midterms being over that's a, a thing we can do now just get back on track in terms of video wise because I tried to get myself on track and then I got off track because of schoolwork okay I can't eat I can't sleep you're ruining me just say you'll be here tomorrow we'll call it even I'm gonna kiss you now hey Volks is fully human now all right, we've seen that screen before. We don't need that screen again, but I still need 20 million with you. Jesus hell, Kelby. You need tools as well. Why does everybody need tools? Y'all are tools. Six boat rides. Hold on. That requires peaceful. I need peaceful to get Matt back. Uh... You need a tree. Tree. I can get you a tree. Alright, Anon. Anon's back to hybrid. Boat rides. 20 boat rides. I gotta say, you're tipping the boat this much. I don't think we need to go on 20 of these. I like how my character is just kind of chilling in the boat while Garrett's fearing for his life. Guts and creative. Level 29 guts and 25 boat rides. All right, let me check the phone flings. Jesus, hell. Cashew! Oh, wow. I knew it was going to be something like that. Okay, hold on. Wow, my heart is racing. Okay, I'm back. Here I am. Hi, Cashew. <laughs> Did we? Oh, yeah, we asked him for a... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Um... He's adorable. I can't even say anything. He's adorable. 
he's an exhibitionist as well. Damn. Nothing too graphic or triple X. Okay, sorry. You know, this is gonna sound kind of ridiculous, but I've kind of always wanted to mess around in a library. Nothing too graphic or XXX. I've always just found myself setting my personal fantasies there. Libraries are hot as fuck. A place you have to be quiet, a place where you could get caught. Not unusual at all. I think there are entire websites of content dedicated to that little fantasy. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the answers that are going to fluster this guy the most. <laughs> I love the phrase AF in relation to libraries. I'm pretty sure that's an entirely new sentence. <laughs> well, sorry to say, I wasn't almost caught taking that picture. <laughs> Jesus hell, where's this conversation gone? I practically live in this place, so I know the librarian rounds and schedule off by heart. Oh, that's adorable. If this library were a stealth game, I would be that one guy who's sort of weirdly good at it. <laughs> I love this kid. <laughs> as romantic as that sounds. <laughs> Cashew. <laughs> anyway, I'm just sort of blabbering now. I don't usually send steamy photos of myself, so I guess I'm a bit off my game. But I've had a wonderful time chatting with you. You're a special person. I can tell. And you made me feel, well, pretty darn special. I just want to kiss that little face of yours. Alright, uh, while they're doing that, I'm gonna turn Peaceful back on. One day? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Well, no time like the present. <laughs> Thanks. You have a way with words. Do I? Do I, Cashew? Thank you. For everything. You're amazing. I wish you luck on your adventure. And hope next time I'm lucky enough to get caught up in it. I'm 80% sure he does get caught up in it. I'm 80% sure he's playable eventually. Like you finish his phone fling and it's like, yeah. Felix. Uh, here I am, ready to get merry with my berries out. I find protesting like this gets a lot more attention. Oh. My. Anyway, <laughs> helps make the point, makes it memorable. Oh, wow, you're gorgeous. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Genetic lottery. I think you sound gorgeous in spirit, which is much harder. <laughs> Later, I'm off to cause a scene. I'll pester you after the protest. I'll poster you after the pest test. <laughs> okay, that's it then. That was all we got from him. Okay, back in action. I don't know how to voice any of these people, so I'm just kind of going with what feels like it. Patricia's out sick. Or building a tunnel web. Or something. So I got my food safe and sound. Proof. Proof? Oh, I see. Oh, my. <laughs> you really seem to be enjoying that banana. Hee <laughs> hee. Why, was that a note of innuendo I had detected in your speech pattern? Nobody talks like that. If you think you could sneak such things past me, I advise you to give up. 
I'm a professional pollster. This ain't my first rodeo. Real talk for a sec, though. <laughs> Please, real talk. I just wanted to let you know that I'm really enjoying this conversation. Aww. I was feeling pretty on edge this morning, but now I'm in a great mood. You're great. This is great. Everything is great. I think you're great, too. Alright, we're gonna go back to the guys for a second. I gotta get my auto-clicker on. He already had them all. Whoopsie. Sorry, Dimitri. You, though. Excuse me? We gotta get the auto-clicker going. Oh, you want level 20 gamer. Uh, gamer, 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 gamer. It's gonna take 12 minutes. Fuck hell. <laughs> All right, this is going at a decent speed. So uh, let me talk to you guys a bit. So um, have you guys heard of my podcast, by the way? Uh, yeah, my podcast, the uh, the Agony of Moon podcast. Uh, I got some friends from a Discord server that I'm in. Uh, one is named Moon, one is named Plushy, and the other is named Necro. And I got Trace from uh, this channel. Uh, we started this podcast where we basically talk about topics and uh, Moon plays a game. Uh, while we talk about the topics and it causes us to lose brain cells because holy hell these topics but uh last week we were talking about uh pivy the uh pivy apocalypse show that um got announced recently and was the uh adult swim april fool's prank and uh, we were talking about it's like potential and like maybe a potential pivy video game series like not a full-out video game but like what i was thinking is because how pivy travels to the worlds of other games Maybe it could be like a bunch of DLCs and it's just like a Pibby add-on for the game. It's like a DLC where either Pibby gets involved in the story or you play as Pibby and it either ends in the static taking over everything or like the character of the game surviving and then going on. And it's like a scattered timeline thing where you got to play the DLCs in order to figure out the timeline of where Pibby um, went first and like how she got into the games in the first place. I think it would be a very cool idea. I think it's a very unlikely idea uh, because that would require a lot of work and would require a lot of time in order to do. But I think that for Pibby, that would be a very nice uh, thing to do. Like, have that be the means of like getting Pibby into a video game sphere. Because she can already go into both cartoons and live action TV shows. So I gotta wonder what it's gonna be with that. Uh, Ferris. I think you're great too. Duh, and here I thought I was gonna get through the survey without blushing like an intern. Intern. <laughs> By the way, that last expression was just in relation to the rogue new hires at Crop Corp get their first week or two. Um, one of these requires Kelby boyfriend. So let's go on these boat rides. But yeah, like I said, that would be a very cool idea for Pibby. And I think because Pibby is an Adult Swim property, like, first and foremost, I think it should start in Fusion Fall. I think that somebody should bring... I think that somebody should go to all these places that are bringing back Fusion Fall. And I think that we should... Um, or Cartoon Network could bring back Fusion Fall, like, as a thing. And make it, like, a Pibby event. Or you could, like... It's a separate story campaign. Like, you could play... The regular campaign or the Pibby campaign, I think that would be very cool. Uh, or like Cartoon Network makes its own horror game surrounding Pibby, but either way, I want it to be like Fusion Fall because one, I want Fusion Fall back, and two, I think Fusion Fall would be the perfect place to put Pibby into the video game world. Uh, so that's just my thoughts. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts on the comments below, and uh, make sure to go follow the uh, Agony of Moon podcast on Twitch. Uh, it's twitch.tv/slash Agony of Moon podcast. Uh, 
I haven't started streaming on the CSP Twitch channel yet, but I plan to eventually. Probably during the summer when I get time. Um, God, that gave me over 10,000 hearts. All right. Sweetheart. Damn it. Requires Kelby boyfriend and Kelby lover. Uh, just a result of normal industrial fumes. Lawsuits are all pending. Hey, I've got another question for you. Alright. Would you ever consider grabbing a dinner with a guy like me? Is this part of the survey? <laughs> I like these little phone things. It is not. <laughs> but we can pretend it is. In fact, we probably should. Aw. These conversations are recorded for quality for quality is <laughs> these conversations are recorded for quality assurance purposes. I think I was legally supposed to tell you that earlier. <laughs> I just haven't had much luck in the dating scene as of late. Aw. It's been super difficult finding people to just hang out and act normal. I feel like I live in a sitcom. Your office does sound a bit sitcommy. You have no idea. <laughs> I don't think I do. Well, that was easy. Uh, watch. How much is a watch? 380 million. Awesome. Sure. Six roller coasters. Um, in other news, I'm trying to get on playing my guitar again. So hopefully I'll be able to release a cover of me using my guitar. Uh, and when I get back to Tennessee, uh, maybe I can meet up with Trace and we can do the uh, take two of Salvaged. Because uh, we were planning on doing a take two of Salvaged because it was like the first cover that he and I did together. And now I know how to play guitar and so it, it would be cool. God, these dates, they can either take so little time or so long that it kills me inside. Pinup event? Oh yeah, I forgot there are pinup events in this game. I'll check it out after I get done with Kelby here. This should advance me to the next stage though, and then maybe I can get... Uh, Kelby boyfriend into where I can get this other phone fling. I think I'm going to stay on this cycle for a while. Just because I feel like it's going to not help me much to reset right now. Hey, no joke. During my last game, my mind kept wandering and thinking about you. I scored nine goals. Anyway, now I'm being protest now I'm being tested for performance enhancement. But I don't think what I will but I don't think what I got will show up on a urine test. Kelby boyfriend. Alright, let's see. Reese. Beg your pardon. I'm just gonna assume he's British. Don't know why. Just gonna do it. Beg your pardon. Due to some time travel shenanigans, I have found myself in the most awkward predicament. Time travel shenanigans, British guy. I think I know where this is going. According to my plot device, probabil probabilistic computer, your cell number was the most likely to be helpful. Would you mind assisting a wayward time traveler? Um. Hold on. I don't have any issues accepting magic water, but when did the story become sci-fi? Let's keep the fourth wall breaks going. Hmm, the presence of magic water in this timeline might actually explain my predicament somewhat. 
If magic is an omnipresent metaphysical phenomenon, it may have interfered with my instruments. Allow me, briefly, to explain. Explain away, my dude. Uh, I'm gonna look at what Kelby's got here, though. A million coffees! I can't lie, that's probably what I drink in a year, so have at it, Kelby. Uh, get, how much are coffees? How much... A million. <laughs> when buying a million coffees is pocket change. <laughs> I was time traveling through the time slip barrier when I experienced when I detected the presence of a powerful anomaly. I love anomalies. They lead to more adventures than a Saturday morning on a beautiful day. Is this guy really just the fucking doctor? <laughs> In any case, I detected there were also individuals with metamorphic distress, and they were mathematically attractive. Uh, that's all the convincing I needed. I set course for here and now. Once I arrived, all of my equipment magicked away, and I do mean all. Wait, does that mean you're... Yes. Afraid so. I am naked in the field, as you might say. Nobody says that. <laughs> no, nobody says that. Due to the anomaly, I am entirely stranded and entirely exposed. Oh dear, you're actually just fucking naked. Oh, it's like that one time travel movie. Uh, y'all know what I'm talking about. That time travel movie where it's like he time travels and he like appears, but he's naked for some reason. I don't remember what it's called. Hold on. I must ensure that you believe me, so I will provide empirical evidence. Oh. <laughs> Five hours, of course. <laughs> God, what is that time travel movie, though? He, like, he time travels, but everywhere he goes, he appears naked, and he has to, like, get clothes from the era. Was it the Ter- It's not the Terminator. It cannot be the Terminator. Unless it is. <laughs> Sorry, I was checking my phone. I got a message from my acapella group. Oh, uh, I joined an acapella group here at uh, school, by the way. Uh, they're very nice. I'm the only guy there, though, which sucks. But, you know, I have use. There are tenor parts to some songs. Hopefully this advances me to Kelby Lover and I can get this other phone fling. Then I can make all the progress. Kelby's dates take the longest. I swear, I think he's that jock boyfriend that you literally take him to a carnival and the only thing he does is play every single game to show how strong he is. I truly believe that that is who Kelby is as a person. Kelby's not my favorite, but Kelby's all right. He's at least nice. Eli, though. <laughs> Eli might might be one of my favorites. Anon is currently the favorite, like the favorite, but second place is Volks, and I think Eli is like top three. I just think he, I just think Volks is hotter. And he was a wolf, so I can't exactly. I gotta get this to 304 million. Not a problem. I was so. <laughs> so. I was riding my bike last night, thinking about you, and I crashed into a street post. There's no real point to the story, I just like telling you stuff. Hey, you're cool, and I love you. Just FYI. I'm afraid at this point you're just plain old stuck with me. Ho, oh, human Kelby! <laughs> Thought I looked cute. Might delete later. Just kidding. I took like 500 of these until I finally had one that didn't look weird. Let me know if you're ever down for a little one-on-one. -on -one. Shirts versus skins. I'll let you pick which one I wear. Ooh. That's probably the best line anybody's ever used on me. Hey, great to see ya. Down for some one-on-one? On or off the court? You pick. 
Oh, how much are a ticket? A ticket is eight billion dollars, so I can't afford that. Six masquerades? Three point five million dollars. Uh, I can get the hearts up very quickly. Oh, one billion. Oh, we're gonna be here a second. Um, I read that as one million. I was like, huh, it's weird that they gave me such a low goal this late in. And I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> Achievement unlocked wholeheartedly. The hell? Uh, I'm just gonna let this go until it gets up to the one billion mark. I can't see how long I've been recording, because if you don't know how my auto clicker works, it basically it clicks X amount of times per X amount of time you put uh, wherever your mouse is. So I've set it to 15,000 clicks per millisecond, which is probably maxing it out. But um, I've set it to that. And now I have to keep my mouse here until this gets up to the amount that I want. Which is already in the 1 billion 300, so that's good. Um, so... Pop! You're gonna get me all worked up. Let's just say these shorts aren't really up to the challenge of providing subtlety. Oh! <laughs> okay! Kelby getting feisty. Hey, how's it going? 256 million. Yours goes up slower, though, which is weird. Alright, I've got these three as fully human, and I'm in the lover category, so I'm not going to push them any further. A thousand and one pizzas. Ten dinners. Okay. Oh, that looks really cute, though. That little outfit. I like the little strawberry keychain that he's got on his phone. I don't know how to do your voice. I'm sorry, Eli. I really... I have to go into, like, Izuku Midoriya in order to do anything close to him. Pucker your lips and take a selfie with me! I can barely hear myself through the headphones, and even I know that that was bad. <laughs> I love the music in this game, though. It's like the same song over and over again, but it's very vibey. I wonder if there's any different music I can get. There probably isn't, but... A boy can dream. Man, remove the horse ears and it just looks like he's an angel. Because his wings are white. I do like that his hair and eyes are rainbow. Just naturally. Or at least in this picture it is. Over here it seems to just be pink with like an amber sheen on the bottom. But here it looks like there's a bit of green. I forgot what level I had Eli at. Oh, awkward besties. I'm going to gently place you in the crush zone, but it's mostly a technicality. I'm sure you'll be bangable by the end of the week. Sound good? <laughs> Great! Let's go shopping! Hello, hello. Shut up, Eli. <laughs> uh, that's good. I hate that that's good, but that's good. If y'all don't know, it says I have to get him 314 pies. Because pie, 3.14. Ugh, that's good. Uh, 46 million. It's going up automatically, though, so that should be fine. 10 boat rides. Um, progressing a non. Oh, I got Kelby Lover. Uh, let's see. Ace. Hey, sorry to bother you. Uh, my name is Ace. I'm a volunteer with bats. This is my ace voice. That stands for Baseball Aid and Trust Society. Not the weird musical with the sexy bats. Is this alternate universe cats? <laughs> I live in New York. I've heard about cats a little too much. Very sorry to bother you, but I got your number from a rooster. 
I really hope you believe me. And he said that you might be down for helping us out now, or maybe in the future. This guy knows Kelby. He got the number from a rooster. Does any of that sound even remotely credible? I'm bad at cold calling, so feel free to ignore me and I'll assume you've blocked this number. Or I mean, cold texting. Whichever way this works. From a rooster, you say? That sounds pretty legit. What can I do for you, Ace? <laughs> you got it from a rooster. He means Kelby. Yeah, I think the rooster is actually a guy I played baseball with. Uh, but there was some magic business involved. Weird stuff. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Little do you know, Ace, I am the one who caused him to be a rooster. <laughs> Bats! Arranges charity uh, baseball games to help out local causes. We mostly donate to animal welfare groups and kids groups. We got a soft spot for cute things. <laughs> Aww. Usually I canvass for donations, but today I'm actually looking for players. It's a charity game coming up, and one of our teams have taken ill. Uh, looking for a captain to a new tell. <laughs> what the hell? I'm looking to captain a new team myself, but I gotta fill the roster or else the game's cancelled. Does that sound like something you might be interested in helping out with? Uh, maybe. My healthy stat is pretty decent. <laughs> More fourth wall breaks. Let's go. Hey, wonderful. That's great to hear. And not just because I'm looking for athletes. I like it when people take care of themselves. <laughs> You'd hate me then. <laughs> Even if you're not very experienced, it would be a big help if you signed up. I mostly just need to feel the team. It's alright if we get crushed. It's all for charity and fun. Can I put you down to play? No worries at all if you're busy or not into it. I'll pull it off, no sweat. Uh, sure, why not? If the rooster gave you a thumbs up, you're golden in my book. Yeah, I'd love to play. Put me down for third base. My favorite base. <laughs> that one, please. <laughs> oh, I love this so much. <laughs> that happens to be my favorite base, too. I don't think he gets it, but we'll go with him. Perfect. I'm so stoked. I really appreciate you swooping in to help. I'll get to the details on day and time, what field, etc. We got all the equipment already, too. Here, hold on a sec. I'll send you my picture. So you know who to look for on game day. Alright, that's gonna be in five minutes. Uh, how long have I been playing for? I've been playing for 32 minutes. I really don't want to drag this out. Okay. I'm going to go and... Oh, wait, I still got a phone fling. Uh, we'll do this for maybe five minutes. Ferris, you have no idea. My coworker just asked me what kind of bear is best. I don't even know what that means. Is that a reference? It's unbearable, whatever it is. Anyway. Anyway, you brought me a lot of normal today. And I feel a lot better about things. I was just thinking what you might think... Of a guy like me. I think you need. I would death swipe, right? Death. I have never said that word in my life. <laughs> You're sweet. I wish Crop Corp would bottle you up and sell you at a reasonable markup. That's. No. Actually, they might try. I don't want to give them ideas. Yeah, please don't. I don't want to be bottled. Alright, so that's going for the next 23 hours. <laughs> Oopsie. Uh, Alright, let's get in on uh, 10,000 coffees. Because that's pocket change to me now. Ooh. You don't need to buy me things. No, really. I could get just about anything I want on the dark web. I've got Bitcoin for days. Ugh. I really hope that an update doesn't come for this game where Anon talks about NFTs. Because I might literally shoot myself. <laughs> Just so we're clear on my stance on NFTs. Screw anybody who makes them. Screw anybody who does them. Screw the concept as a whole. 
I hate NFTs. Uh, but that said, <laughs> um, let's get an on to his heart thing here, and then I'll see what blocks I need to be leveling up. I get tickled. I laugh. I upvote. <laughs> upvote? What the fuck? All right, I've got you. How much is a neck pillow? 20 million. Easy. Anytime you may wonder about it, I'll tell you the same. I love you with all my heart. Aww. Hey, sweetheart. You look like you could use a nuzzle. And I'm an accomplished nuzzler. <laughs> God, I love Nim so much. Nim is in the top four. Nim is fourth place, but he's slowly... He's gonna edge out Eli. I can feel it. Band leader musician. Band leader. Politician. Oh. This requires creative and disciplined. Okay, creative, disciplined. Wow, hey to you too. All right. Hey, how's it going? Shut up, bulks. Uh, I need guts. Hello, hello. I have level 19 gamer. I need level 20 gamer. Guts, creative. Guts. Oh, Ichiban's starting over. All right, I need guts, gamer, creative. Guts, Gamer, Creative, Disciplined. So, Guts, Gamer, I'll get rid of Peaceful, Creative, Disciplined. And what does it say? Smart and Gamer. Uh, shite balls. Um... I'll get rid of you. Smart. All right, I'll leave these going. Um, I actually think I'll end it here. Uh, I've made a decent amount of progress. I've, um... Oh, never mind. <laughs> the phone fling happened right as I started the outro. Ace! Okay, got one. All right. Oh, this is his picture. Okay. Okay. Er, excuse the action shot. It's a bit hammy, now that I'm looking at it. Bah, whatever. Here it is. Give me the pics. Give me the pics. Hello. I like him. I really do. He looks like me if I actually had muscles. And I want to be like that. He's even got the triangular eyebrows. Interesting. <laughs> I'd love to play ball with you anytime. <laughs> oh, I need to be prevented. Oh, wow. Thanks for the compliment. <laughs> You're cute too. Well, probably, judging from your excellent grammar. Grammar? <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why that made me laugh. You'll have to forgive me. I get a bit awkward when people say nice things like that. Aw. Yeah, same. Well, I'm really looking forward to game day now. I'm just waiting to hear back from a couple guys, but I think I have a team. Maybe after the game we could hit a pub or something. Do you eat? Yes. I mean, obviously you eat, but like, food? Like, pub food? Ace. Are you asking me out? <laughs> please, please me. I'm begging. <laughs> uh, oh, no, no, not like that. Ace. I mean, that's not off the table or anything. I mean, we're both single and lonely. I'm definitely not single and I'm definitely not lonely, but I'm willing to try. Whoa, okay, calm it down, Ace. Be cool. Real talk, I have a New Year's resolution to be more social this year. Normally, I'm all about the game. As most straight men are. 
I've been told that I miss lots of social cues. People try to introduce themselves or deep in friendships. Social cues. Is Ace a little bit of an autistic? I'm joking, but I also am, so maybe. <laughs> they did not base this character on me. I do not have that much street cred. It's just kind of a funny coincidence. Dark brown hair, blue eyes, triangular eyebrows, missing social cues. It's funny. I just don't play baseball. Uh, so I'm working on that. That's a bit too much information. My bad. No, no, that's cool. You're doing great. I'm enjoying this chat. I wanted to do that New Year's resolution one because it's kind of funny, but at the same time, I want to get to know Ace. <laughs> well, thanks for saying so. Despite how I might look, the confidence stat isn't always the highest. And I sweat. I'm a sweat machine. I basically convert food into sweat. Same. <laughs> On both of those, same. Alright, I need a jet for a bit. Got a game coming up here. Ooh, can I watch? <laughs> it's not really that kind of game. Just a casual game. Mixed co-ed beer league, basically. I'll text you when it's done. I'd love to keep chatting. Talk soon. Alright. And with that... I'm going to end the video. I started to do the intro and then Ace text back and I was like, Oh, well, might as well finish this. Uh, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you want to see more of me, check out the Agony of Moon YouTube channel and twitch.tv slash Agony of Moon podcast. We record every Tuesday at 8 p.m. live. So if you want to be in the chat and you want to get involved with that kind of thing, go to twitch.tv slash Agony of Moon, follow it, and every night on Tuesday at 8 p.m. we record. Uh, that also said, I'm going to try to be uploading a lot more here, and I am planning on doing a Let's Play of In Space with Markiplier and then a Heist with Markiplier, uh, because I like doing those, and I think a Let's Play style format for those kinds of things would be very entertaining. Um, but that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment any games or songs that you want me to sing. Um, subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you here as we continue to play this game and other games and do podcasts and other things that I decide to do. <laughs> oh, God. I've done outros before. I swear it. But anyway, uh, so thank you guys so much. And uh, from the CSPI, I'm signing off. <laughs>